Oh, Virgil strikes again. He just can't help himself, can he? Unfortunately, um, Virgil has another oopsie on social. It seems like he's not really good at gauging the room, innit? He's not good at reading the room, Mr. Virgil. So it seems like um, he, he kind of rectified himself pretty well off the back of, you know, what? Off the back of, um, you know, uh, two Virgil's gate, right? When he inadvertently revealed that he donated fifty dollars as part of a donation chain, but it came across as if he was only donating fifty dollars, which came off the back of him criticizing protesters for looting round two, and then for the round two founder to say he doesn't really care, things can get replaced. There's a bigger message at heart, which basically made Virgil look like a bit of a coon, which I don't agree with, and also made him look like he doesn't support black businesses or black creatives, which I don't agree with either, because you just have to look at his, you know, his collaboration profile CV. He's kind of gone out of his way to hire his friends right um to get them to get them in position to allow them to travel to allow them to be um recognized as creatives legitimate right standing next to them walking a lot side by side with someone like an ian connor for instance when he's going through all his um legal issues whatever it may be you no know, he, he's a he's a, he's obviously a good dude he's, he's, a, he's a good friend in that regard right because he's got he's got a position he's got influence and he's willing to kind of exchange, he's kind of willing to kind of share out his clout coins, right? Hey, here, here, have some, have some, have some, have some. Great to see. But there's also a part of him that's a little bit annoying and rubs people up the wrong way, which you can understand, right? Is that I think most, the most important part of it from what I've been seeing, again, just from kind of being an outside observer and having some experience of having worked with him within his vicinity, not worked directly with him, right? We're not friends or anything, but being able to see how he kind of operates is that, it seems like people just don't like him because he's not good, right? Objectively, the stuff he does is people don't are not necessarily fans of it. They think his clothes are gaudy. They think he talks in riddles. Um, and he just doesn't, you know, he doesn't, I don't know. People just don't seem to be inspired by him the way they should be. Because on paper, Virgil's an amazing dude, right? Self-made guy who was essentially working as Kanye's assistant, then works his way up to be creative director, is in charge of and kind of fundamental to the creative direction and the artistic direction of some of the most important albums, single artwork, um, changed the way singles were dropped and released and all this good stuff, you know, did the whole, you know, collaborated with the with um, good music and all that good stuff artist direction stage design merch cool great stuff does his own brand that's fairly shit in pyrex vision then gets that uses that as a platform to launch into off-white a fully you know fully realized a runway collection that then gets some opportunity to design for louis vuitton like just incredible stuff right on paper like really really great but I guess because the work itself is set for the Nike 10 collaboration, which he hit out of the park, right? And again, he says in interviews himself, that was a very risky decision, right? Taking on the responsibility of designing 10 Nike sneakers, right? If you got one wrong, right, you're dead, especially if you, when it comes to sneaker heads, right? Sneaker heads can be real bitchy, real finicky. So if he would have got that wrong, he would not have lived that down forever. But he got it right. He sold the entire thing out. Even, you know, the shitty designs in that collaboration, such as the Air Max 97, they still go for good amounts of money. So, he's a, you know, there are bits and pieces that he does that are amazing. The, the yellow belt, I wore that for a long time. I thought that was a clever design piece that's been, you know, copied and plagiarized by a number of brands. So he knows what he's doing in some regard. But there are some options bits and pieces that he does where you're just reminded of like god damn it man you he really has got through he, he it seems like he's been able to progress really far in his career purely based on the amount of work he puts in and i think that's the message that needs to be reiterated people need to remember part of the reason why he's so successful is because he just works much harder than most people in that field he approaches working in the creative arts or in fashion the same way Future does or Gucci Mane does when it comes to music. I remember him saying that in an interview with Charlemagne, right? Uh, Charlemagne was kind of insinuating, oh, you put out too much stuff. And he was like, no, I don't. My fans want to always hear from me. If my fan, if people that don't want to hear from me think I'm overpopulate, I'm polluting their feed, they're going to tune out, but they're not my fans to begin with. So I'm going to keep giving my fans music because they also that's what they want. They want to they wanna hear from me. And the best way to hear from me is from my music. And Virgil does the same approach with fashion. He consists Consistently, he's pushing stuff out, collaborating with everything under the sun, Evian, Ikea, Pioneer, just so he can have different pieces, that, so he can have so many, so he can have a really fully realized portfolio so that any amount of company out there can kind of see, oh shit, he can design chairs, or he can do stereo, or he can design a, a deck, he can do this, he can do that. So it kind of expounds his kind of um, opportunities in that regard. So I think it's a really clever, but in terms of, his actual ability to design things and his aesthetic, it just isn't of the time. People just don't like it. 
it rubs people up the wrong way, whatever it may be. Um, and another good example is this Pop Smoke cover, right? Uh, his posthumous album is meant to be coming out this Friday or this Sunday. Um, and kind of essentially they revealed the artwork for it and people on social were going crazy <laughs> over it because it's pretty terrible. Um, this is the artwork, this is the tweet. It says, um, shoot to the stars, aim for the moon, official album cover designed by Virgil Abloh. So as a story, it should be amazing because we know, we all know that picture of um, Pop Smoke arriving at Paris Fashion Week. What was it, last year, right? Spring, summer season 20, 1920, whatever it was, might have been, right? Um, walking around, wearing that amazing um, off-white um, coat, right? The blue one with the marker that he's got here in the picture. Um, really great, right? A seminal moment, right? A really big moment for New York hip hop, a big moment for hip hop in general. The meeting of the world, it's great to see, right? Um, so Virgil essentially got that picture, cropped it, um, and essentially added. I don't know if they're diamonds or ice in the background, similar to what he did with what a time, what a great, what a, what a time to be alive with Future and Drake, and I added these barbed wire sort of like overlays on top of it, which don't look that great either. But it's just a really poor, low effort album cover. There's no, it doesn't it just doesn't look good, right? It kind of reminds me a little bit of the West Side Gun album cover that got a lot of slack, but I guess because West Side Gun is a lot more beloved and people kind of just want to root for him no one really kind of went to say much about the album cover but the album cover was fairly underwhelming too considering he collaborated with Virgil and he was a really he's a really big off-white fan um it would have been nicer to have seen a bit more I don't know not even I don't know designing stuff isn't just about how many layers do you have on your PSD file right it's more so about just I don't know. There's just it's just it's just feel like there's more depth to it. At the moment it just doesn't feel like there's any depth to it. It just feels as if like he's just raining, he's just winging it, which is, you know, he might be doing. But again, I don't think that's the problem. I just think the problem is people don't like Virgil because they think he represents mediocrity, which is dangerous because he's a black dude designing in an industry that is fairly, you know, fairly white and he's he's probably at the high it's probably at the he's at the apex of it. He's at the top of the mountain. People should be rooting for him regardless, but they're not. Um, which is weird, right? Um, and I guess it's something that he has to kind of reconcile with. Like, why don't people like me? Which is basically what's happening here. People just don't like the guy at all. Um, and even less so because somebody like a Pop Smoke, they feel is being disrespected by the album cover he put out there. So that gets released, right? The first album cover. Then then we see a t-shirt design, right? Uh, Stop the Violence t-shirt by Virgil Abloh. Available now, Pop Smoke online store. The cut of the t-shirt looks pretty cool, but the design again looks pretty really bad. If anything, the design on the t-shirt looks better than it does on the album cover. Um, I would probably have got rid of the diamonds and maybe the chains. And as a t-shirt, that could probably work really well as a sort of memorial tea airbrushed -y kind of looking but still it's fairly low brow it's fairly shit stop the violence what does that even mean um pop smoke you know perished through a very violent end um his lyrics were the exemplary example yeah well exemplary of violence um in that regard this mantra that they, they might have been able to they might have agreed to that prior to his death but to emblazing the t-shirt with stop the violence now just feels a bit off the mark it feels a bit tasteless it's a bit like what um it's a bit again it kind of insults our intelligence we all know how he died uh, it's not a good way to commemorate him and on the back here you've got i'll oh, shoot for the stars in for the moon which is i think is a good mantra to go with so that was you know again um no one really had that much reaction to it and then the official statement from steven victor um the manager of is it the manager or the guy that basically discovered pop smoke or basically gave him a deal he says um steven victor says you're always shooting for the stars about pop smoke um and aiming for the moon and everything we talked about is happening and the only thing is you're not here to in the flesh to see it all come together you wanted virgil to design your album cover and lead creative virgil designed the album cover and lead creative we love you and miss you more and and more each day and then that's obviously very touching as well the official track list is out as well that we can see here in the official app on the website allow motion let's not allow the camera motion allowed can we accept it except for no let's not do that that's not going to load up let's just continue um and then a statement from Virgil said the last conversation I had with Pop Smoke was about what we were going to do in the future. This album cover was one of five things we talked about. In our mem in your memory, I just finished it yesterday as evident of the whole idea. The T-shirt insinuates it's mandatory that we put an end. We put an end to this cycle of violence that plagues us we need to shoot for the moon and aim for the stars as heavy as it as it were as as it is we are celebrating your life and the whole way through very touching message there a little bit convoluted but hey that's virtual talk and then an update from 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 uh, Stephen victor said we heard you and if you're wondering why because people are absolutely ragging it right online here's some of the 
the things people said um one dude here suggested that he basically made the entire album cover on his iphone and made an example to illustrate just as much from twitter he essentially got the first image of pop smoke here the original image from paris fashion week made on, on instagram sorry yeah on instagram stories there's an image here of some barbed wire that he placed on top of ends and diamonds and that's a finishing touch right he was able to make the entire cover on his instagram stories uh, which is fairly disheartening. And then the other comment here. Um, oh, and then um, another suggestion, which I thought was a really good suggestion, was uh, Dirtbag Phil suggested that they just use the album cover or the cover that was used, the photo shoot, sorry, that was used for the Fader interview that Pop Smoke did, which I thought was really cool. So this image it looks amazing. This is from the Fader issue. And I think there's some more pictures here as well that we can see. Where is it? Da, 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 da. I think I thought it was here. Did I not get it? Give me the same. But yeah, that cover looks, of course, far better than the Virgil one that he designed. And then the last update, I guess, is from um, Theophilus London, who essentially spoke to Virgil and supposedly we all got it wrong. And I guess that's probably why people don't like Virgil, isn't it? It's this idea that artistically he's so ahead of the curve like it's i guess people that's the same issue people have with um kanye stands right that everything kanye does his fans sort of explain away as genius even when it's something as preposterous as a jumper covered in holes yeah right? everyone could kind of explain why that is worth 700 dollars. but then fans people that aren't fans are like that isn't worth 700 dollars. that's just a shit jumper with holes in it and I guess the same thing applies to Virgil, right? Um, when he gets on the phone with Theophilus London and essentially has a conversation where he kind of says, hey man, like Theophilus London tweets here, says, had a great call with the boy. Um, Y'all got it twisted and misconstrued, but moving forward, it's on 1,000. I don't know what the hell that even means, right? He took a screenshot of him talking to Virgil. Supposedly, I guess, what? Um, I don't know. Maybe that was exactly the design Pop Smoke wanted at the time, but considering what Virgil has gone through so on social media you would have just thought he would have been able to read the room better and maybe put together something a lot more substantial maybe something with a bit more reverence maybe something with a bit more weight towards it I don't know what the actual answer is but I just know it wasn't that um, and to kind of not just be humble enough to be like hey I missed the mark I didn't read the room properly I guess people wanted more um, it's just really bad isn't it but it just goes to show just disconnected this guy seems to be from because again it's weird to see with Virgil because he's always talking about the kids he's always talking about you know this sort of like social media um way of designing and and kind of getting ideas from from Instagram and designing stuff on WhatsApp and being digital and internet he's savvy but he seems to really miss the current climate what's kind of going on he doesn't necessarily understand how he's viewed or how he's even perceived he seems to kind of have this assumption that people misunderstand him as an artist but I think generally people get what he's doing but they're just not fans of it um I think you can see via via the clothes he makes right who actually wears the clothes that he makes outside of Gunner and I don't know and pop smoke before he unfortunately passed away no one really his friends don't even wear his own clothes he doesn't even wear his own clothes right um it seems to be a weird place he's in where he's sort of designing for people that not so necessarily fan he sort of seems to be designing for people he doesn't want to design for or i don't know if that's the, the case because he always talks about the high and low but he would want he would obviously want to have the likes of playboy card to be more fans of the stuff that he makes right that kind of group of class of people right but they're not necessarily wearing his stuff and he want the kind of cool work Twitter fashion lot to be fans of his too, but they don't like him either. He'd also want the critters cool, you know, platforms such as Diet Prior to be fans of him too, but they're not fans of him either, right? And, you know, it's just, I don't know. He should be able to kind of, he needs to maybe accept the position that he has at the moment with people or how he's perceived and then maybe move accordingly or just not address it at all. I don't know what the actual answer is, but I know this isn't it. Using Fluffless London as your sort of like PR um, isn't the way to go forward with it and some people have kind of skewed that on the comments below he says um it's the first comment here replying to the image it's like oh how shitty how shit how sh how is a shitty cover misconstrued 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 um it's, it's a blatant disrespect of him using the first pick of images not to mention he took no longer than five minutes on it ain't shit misconstrued about that Fivus obviously being his best friend replies back said it's from a video still and first off calm down it's a lot behind the scenes you know nothing about and it isn't my job to reveal but it's my job to have my own taste and stand by which is a weird statement because it's not about taste um objectively that cover is bad 
Um, and he continues to say it's just a bad cover and something he continues to say in your opinion let it sit love let it sit as in what it can get better over time I don't agree but yeah the, the common consensus isn't good and Steven Victor basically has skewed that and it looks like they're going to go back to the drawing board and do something else whether or not they get Virgil to redesign the cover or whether it's something that um, yeah well whether they get some Virgil to redesign it is a thing probably shouldn't be a thing maybe they should just get another designer to go and do it somebody that's maybe more tied to pop smoke maybe somebody else i don't know what the answer is or maybe virgil can use that as opportunity to kind of feel design maybe that'd be a good thing to do maybe virgil can host a contest on his instagram where he gets people to send in design propositions ideas um about what they think where how they can best represent pop smoke what works best and then he can kind of pick the winner from there or they can kind of vote on instagram so i don't know make it a bit more interactive but it looks like they're going to change it um we got the tweets here from Stephen Victor. It says, um, heard you, BRB, making a change. He says, Pop Smoke would have listened to his fans. So, yeah, we're going to see a change to that. But it, it, it's, it's a bit sad, I guess, looking at it from the outside in. Because, again, as, as, as much as I'm not a fan of the guy personally, I still think Virgil plays an important part in um in terms of being a creative especially in a uh, especially with black people within the scene especially in fashion in general um he's just a good person to have in that position because he's able to play politics he's able to be you know a little bit middle of the road in terms of his appeal um and i also just think it's good for motivation inspiration purposes for kids to see something like a virgil designing on that level i think it's going to be an inspiration and a chance for people to push forward but God damn it, man. He seems to be missing the mark a lot, in it. But hey, what can you do? <laughs>